Hey there, it's Amy SZ, and it's Find Out Friday here at Fitness Business. Now, I wasn't sure what to talk about today, so last night I put a question on Twitter and Facebook asking you to send me your questions, and I got an overwhelming response. A lot of great questions came in. I wasn't even sure where to begin, so I decided to be fair and go with the first one that came, and that was from Lisa in California. Before I answer Lisa's question, though, I want to tell you that I will be answering all the other questions in the next four or five weeks. And um, so I got a lot of topics to cover. Thank you for sending me your questions. Now, don't let that stop you, though. If you have a question, go ahead and send it to me. Send it by Twitter or Facebook. Comment below or email it to me. I'd love to hear from you. All right, Lisa's question was, how do I know how much weight to lift when I'm starting out a weightlifting program? Now, I'm assuming you mean dumbbells because you said two, five, or eight pounds. And we're going to go with two pounds. That's my answer. When you are starting something that you've never done before, with the weights, always go the lightest that you can go until you learn the proper technique. You're going to learn all the exercises you need to learn and learn the proper form and technique before you start lifting heavier. So use a lighter weight to, to, so that your body learns the repetitions because with light weight, you can do more repetitions than you can with heavy weight. So start light and do the repetitions to teach your body uh, the proper technique and form. Now, how, what is the proper technique and form? That's a question for a trainer to answer. So if you have access to a trainer, I suggest you hire one for two or three sessions, maybe five sessions. Share your goals with them, and they can teach you the proper exercises to meet your goals. If you're not doing the exercises correctly, uh, I see this all the time at the gym. If you're lifting too heavy and you're not using proper form and technique, at the very least, you're not going to get the results you're looking for. So you, might, you want to talk with somebody and make sure that you're doing it correctly. And the, at the very worst, you're going to hurt yourself if you're not doing it right. So it's important to invest that time and money with a trainer. Now, if that's going to be impossible for you, then the next thing I would uh, suggest is taking a class uh, at your gym that uh, specializes in toning, sculpting, strength and conditioning, anything that uses dumbbells in the class, and talk with the instructor and share with them what your goals are and let them know that you're new. And a good instructor will take the time before or after class and talk with you about it so that you know what you're doing. Now maybe you're working out at home though and you want to go buy weights, I'm going to suggest you buy three things. Get a set of two pound weights, a set of five pound weights, and a video, an instructional video. There's so many out there. You find them in the same section that you can get the weights and uh, use that to learn the proper form and technique. Okay, I know I keep repeating that but it's something that's so important. Before you go any heavier than two pounds, you want to make sure you're doing it right. All right, so the other reasons that I would suggest that you get two sets of weights, besides that learning um, the proper form, is that uh, you're going to want to progress. As you get, as when you learn the proper form and your muscles get strong, you're going to want to progress to a heavier weight. Um, a good rule of, of thumb is that if you can do three sets of 15 repetitions of any one exercise and it no longer hurts, your muscles are no longer fatigued, then it's time to move up to a heavier weight. Okay, so ditch the twos and go with the fives. And again, once, but then you want to decrease your repetitions. The heavier the weight, the lower the amount of repetitions that you do. Um, and then when you work up to three sets of 15 repetitions and those fives are no longer causing a burn and fatigue, then you can move up to eights after that. Okay, so you just want to keep progressing as your body adapts. You want to overload. You want to work your muscle to fatigue um, or else you're not going to see the change in definition that you're looking for. Um, but to, to go back to the original question is what should I start off with? Very, very light, lighter than you think you can handle and learn how to do it right before you progress to those heavier weights. Um, okay, so I hope that answered your question for today. If you have any further questions or if anybody has anything to suggest um, to add to that, I would love to hear from you. So please put it in the comment box below. Now, today I have a date with my running partner. We're running five miles today in preparation for the Air Force Marathon that we're doing in September. Um, so um, I have to go. So Amy SZ is out. Talk to you next time.